All right, guys, so it is currently opening day eve right now uh, at the time of filming this, but I thought I'd talk about the A's a little bit. What's my prediction for the season? You know, what's the A's strengths, where I think they'll end up at the end of the season? So, yeah. So looking at the end of spring training, and I know spring training doesn't really matter too much, but looking at the guys that really stood out to me were a lot of new faces. I think Kai Tom really kind of emerged himself into this lineup. Jed Lowry, who hasn't really been relevant in a couple of years, came back and came out swinging in spring training. And Elvis Andrus, he played pretty good too. So, I mean, I think the A's do a good job of, of like getting these guys that won't normally be good to play good um with their system so obviously over free agency the A's lost a lot of their star players and beloved players such as Marcus Simeon you know Chris Davis they lost uh Robbie Grossman not as a, of, of a prominent player but still pretty good but I think one thing that the A's are really strong with is the outfield you look at our outfield it is so deep you know there's so many guys that can play in the outfield you obviously have the new guy I just talked about, Kai Tom. You have Steven Piscotti on the right field, usually. You have Pinder. You have Canna. You have Loreano. You have... Um, the, there's just a lot of guys. And, I mean, obviously, you only have three outfielders per game, so you can move these guys around. Um, and I think, you know, outfield's really important in this day and age. It always has been. I think, you know, if Oakland wants to get a playoff berth, I think they're going to rely on that. And the infield is great, too. I mean, you got Chapman and Olsen on the corners. You got Andrus, who I just talked about. You got Tony Kemp, um, who played pretty good in spring training. And you got Sean Murphy, at catcher. Like, is there really a bad player on the A's right now? Ser like, not really. And I, with the money the A's have right now, it's almost ridiculous how good of a team they can make with this low budget. And at the pitchers, I mean, our pitchers, I think, were better last year. We obviously lost Liam Hendricks. But we have Trevor Rosenthal. We have Birch Smith, who looked great in uh, spring training. You have Cole Irvin, who looked good in spring training. You have Dalton Jeffries. You have, okay, Manaya struggled a little bit. But you have Jesus Luzardo. You have plenty of guys that were great. Chris Bassett, just to name a few. Um, you know, I, th I think the A's are very deep. That's one thing they've always been good at. Um, with this, you know, little uh, amount of money they're give, given every year uh, in the general manager position, um, which is really unfortunate. And I've talked about it before. It's frustrating. The A's are able to make the most of it. I mean, there's, is there really a bad player on the A's right now that's starting? No, it's because the A's are very good at producing these players. So that I'm very happy about. And obviously, young players are something the A's always have too. AJ Puck is another one. Um, and I, like I mentioned, Jeffries, Irvin, they all proved themselves at the pitching position in spring training. I saw them in person. They did great. Um, and they do have veterans too. So, I mean, I, I think the A's are very, like, have a diverse set of age in, in terms of their players. Um, and, you know, I think the A's have a chance. Now, in terms of where I think they'll end up, I am confident we'll win the division. If we don't win the division, we will make the wild card. And, I mean, you see all these posts – on the MLB social media, they they always say the A's aren't making the playoffs. Oh, the A's are number 16 on the power rankings. This and that. Don't believe it because the A's are a lot better than everyone thinks. You know, they they're slept on every year. Um, and everyone says, oh, the Astros are going to win the division. The Angels. No, I think the A's are definitely the front runner to win the division. If and if they don't, I'll be really surprised. I think the A's are going to either make the division title or they're going to make the wild card because in all honesty i don't really see the astros as a great team anymore uh they lost george springer um i mean they're good don't get me wrong but after the cheating scandal just everything went downhill and yeah i know we lost to them last season in the alds but we didn't have chapman and we just didn't play good it wasn't you know it was a fact of that we just didn't play good the angels they're a good team i mean they have good players trout they're, they always have good players. Trout, Pujols, Rendon, Otani, just to name a few. Uh, David Fletcher. But are the Angels going to win the division? No. They never can. Their pitching's terrible. I mean, their pitching is ridiculous. Last year, the Angels were ridiculously bad. They were 19. I believe at one point, they were 19 games out of first place. And it, it's a 60-game season last year. So I think the A's have a really good chance of winning this division. Um, and in terms of, you know, where I think they'll end up at when it's all said and done, I'm saying I'm, I'm not going to go ahead and say they'll make the World Series because I don't know if we're quite ready for that. Um, but I'm going to say 
ALCS possibly, and if World Series is definitely um, like where we are expected, I think. I mean, I think I don't. I'm not going to say the A's going to be in the World Series, like I said, but I think the World Series is not a long shot. I think the A's have the the players to make it to the World Series. I think realistically, probably the ALCS, but. I mean, they could do it. I think we also have to remember that the American League is a very good league. So if the A's lose in the ALDS, that might be the more realistic outcome because you know, there's many good teams in the ALDS. However, the last thing I want to touch on is the A's record. My predicted record, I th I'm going to go ahead and say from 96 to 99 games. Let's say 98. Um, I say the A's are going to win 98 games because they won 97 in 2019 and in 2018 they won 97. 2020 was a shortened season, so not really accurate. But I'm going to go ahead and say 98 games. I think, you know, we have a good team. Um, we're going to win the division most likely, in my opinion. Others, you know, beg to differ on the MLB website and on the MLB Instagram. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say the A's win 98 games. Um, and, you know, I mean, they're a good team. So let me know your guys' thoughts. I think the A's are very strong going into this. This is my preview of the season. Obviously, it starts tomorrow. I will be at that game. I'm going to vlog it for you guys who like my vlogs. So let me know what you guys think and go A's.